In this video, I'm going to try and illustrate to you that um, when evaluating a limit, when evaluating a limit as, uh, as, as you approach the origin, sometimes it's not sufficient enough to, to just consider along x equals 0 and y equals 0. So sometimes it's not sufficient enough just to consider approaching the origin along the two axes. So uh, sometimes it's not sufficient enough. Because um, you could approach the origin in all directions, so you might have to consider approaching approaching the origin in a straight line manner, in a straight line manner, or maybe like this. So uh, you're approaching the origin in a straight line manner, or or maybe in a quadratic manner. You're approaching the origin in a quadratic manner, like this, or like this. So you've got to consider approaching the origin in all directions because for limits to exist you must be able to um, to head towards the same point in all directions no matter how you approach the origin. Or maybe maybe consider approaching the origin in a cubic manner. In a cubic manner like this. Something like this. So this is like y equals x to the power of 3. Um, like this. So you're approaching the origin in a manner of y equals x to the power of 3. Or, or e to the power of x looks like this. e to the power of x minus 1 will look something like this. You see, you could approach your origin in an e to the power of x manner as well. So the whole point is you could approach your origin in all possible um, directions. So, uh, well, along, along x equals 0, along x equals 0, if we put 0 into the x, uh, that would then become zero. This whole thing here would then become this, giving you a limit of zero if you approach it along the x along the x axis. Along the y equals zero axis, put zero into here and into here. This whole thing will become this, uh, giving you a limit of zero. But then that's not sufficient enough. If you approach now for this example, if you approach the origin in a straight line manner. It, it will lead you to a different height, it will lead you to a different output, it will lead you to a different z value. So um, so let's let's consider approaching the origin in a straight line manner. So um, so in a straight line manner would be something like this. Well if you approach the origin in a straight line manner this is a trick that we would use. So to that to um, to to um, to illustrate us approaching the origin in a straight line manner, we would use this trick. Let y equals m mx. So m represents a gradient. So if, if the gradient is steep, if the if the gradient is steep, if m is is a, of a high value, if m is of a high value, that means the gradient is steep. If m is um, a low value, then the gradient is shallow. So you're approaching the origin like this. So, um, so the trick we, we would use is to let y equals mx, is to let y equals mx. So put this into here, and then into here. So if you put this into here, it will then give you this. Put this thing into here, that will then give you this thing here. Square this, that will then give you this thing here. x squared is in common, x squared is in common. Factor out the x squared. That will then give you this thing here, and then these two, these two will cancel each other out, giving you this. So what this is saying is, um, if you're trying to eliminate, if you're trying to evaluate this limit along the line along the line y equals m x, meaning you you approach your origin in all straight line manner, then uh, then the limit would be given by this. But then what this is saying is that. The lim your limit depends on the gradient at which you approach your origin. So if, if the gradient changes, then the limit changes. Well, if the limit changes, then, 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 then you're not going to have a limit. Um, well, if, if the limit changes, if the limit depends on the gradient at which you approach, uh, approach the origin, if it changes, then we can definitely conclude, we can definitely conclude that's this, then the limit of this. Does not, does not exist because the uh, the uh, the limit changes depending on the steepness at which you approach the origin. So if, if m is is three here, then it, it will give you one limit. If m is uh, two, 
if m is 2, if the gradient is 2, then it gives you a different limit, then we can, then it changes all the time. So we can definitely conclude that, um, that, it, that the limit of this does not exist because it changes depending on the gradient. Now, if, if, we, if we've just established that the, um, the limit changes, then we don't need to consider x uh, approaching it in the quadratic manner or, or the cubic manner because we, we've just established that it, it already changes depending on, on the gradient at which you approach the origin. So, you see, when, when we first started out along the x equals 0, x equals 0, it would give you a limit of 0 y equals 0, it will give you a limit of 0. But we can't, we can't yet conclude that this does not exist because we need, um, at the moment, it's how, well, we, we need to consider approaching it in, in, um, in all directions. You see, this is not sufficient enough for us to conclude that the limit here does not exist. We can't conclude that yet. Um, only when we, can, when we approach the origin in a straight line manner and then, and then we discover that the gradient... Um, that the limit, only when we are, only when we consider approaching it in a straight line manner, and we discover that um, the limit changes depending on the gradient, then we can conclude that um, the limit does not exist. That the limit does not exist. Okay, so so um, in this example, if you approach uh, along the along the along the axis, then uh, then uh, it gives you zero. But then if you approach it in a straight line manner, then it changes. Because if, if you think about it, if you look at this surface, well, it's hard to see from here, but um, depending on, on, the, the, on how you approach your origin, the, it changes, the height, the output of this function changes, then we can conclude that it does not exist. Okay.